What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Plex Media Server. Quick and simple. And on top of that, I'll show you what apps to use to get your content. Stick around. Welcome back to Kelly Tech. Alright, so setting up your Plex server. It's not that hard. First thing you need to do is set up a Plex account if you don't have one. So to do so, go to Plex.tv, go to sign up, put in an email address, and make a password, and then hit create account. Then you're greeted with this screen if you want to get a Plex Pass. But I'm not going to do that today. So at this point, we should switch over to the Shield. Alright, before we get started, just make sure that you have your Plex updated. So, go to the Play Store. Go to My Apps. Look through your updates. And make sure there isn't a Plex or a Plex server update. Alright, now that we've checked for updates, let's talk about storage. In this video, I'm using a NVIDIA Shield Pro, which comes with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So if you have a NVIDIA Shield Pro, you're good. You don't need to add storage. But if you're using the 16 gigabyte model, you're going to need to add some storage because 16 gigs is just not enough. So, you need storage of some sort. So I'm going to plug in... Um, a 64 gigabyte drive I have. Preparing a data USB drive. Let's go up to the one. Select it. And you have to hit set up as device storage. Now Format as device storage. This requires the USB drive to be formatted to make it secure. After securely formatting this drive, will only work with this device. Formatting erases all data currently stored on the drive. To avoid losing the data, consider backing it up. So, pretty much what's going on here is it's going to erase everything that's on the drive, format it to become one with your Shields drive. So, whatever size your drive is, add it to your 16 gigabytes and that's how much room you got but the drive can't be used for nothing else so you kinda gotta leave it plugged in to your shield so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit format and sometimes this can take a minute now I suggest using something larger than 64 gigabytes it's just you know for learning purposes and one thing to note the NVIDIA Shield can be pretty picky on the drives that you plug in. So, if for whatever reason it doesn't format correctly, you know, you can try a different drive. So now it's asking you, do you want to move data to complete setup? Shield needs to move some data to a data USB drive. Might as well do that now. Alright, data is migrated. So now your storage drive and your USB drive are combined. So now we're done with the storage side of things. And before we jump into the Plex, we need to figure out a way to download content to put into your server. So you could use Cinema HD. Now, it has a download section. Go to your hamburger menu, you know, top left corner here. And there's a download section. And as you can see, I got Halloween. So, you need to make sure that it's downloading where you want it to. So, let's go to settings.
right here media download path as you can see it's already set for movies which is good that's what we want so you can go through pick a movie select one of the servers and just click download and then it'll download it to the movies folder and what you could do just to make it easier is use TTV And they have a downloaded section also. As you can see, the 100. This is a TV show. So you could do movies on one app and TV shows on the other. So just go through and look for TV shows. If you don't see an option for TV shows, you can come back after the tutorial and select your download path for uh, TTV and for Cinema HD. And they should be there then if they're not now. And there you go. So now... You can get your movies from Cinema and get your TV shows from TTV. So that's one way to get your content for your Plex. Now that we have that figured out, let's open up our Plex and since we're already signed up we can just hit sign in and we have to visit this link plex.tv forward slash link and type in the code that's displayed on your screen. So let's switch over to the PC. And we can just open up a new tab and type in plex.tv forward slash link. And now enter your code that you got on your Nvidia Shield and hit link. your account has been successfully linked so now we can close this page down and we're gonna switch back over to the shield and we're not gonna get the Plex Pass right now so not now and if you get this screen just go to continue And it's got your basic free stuff from Plex, podcasts, web shows, and news. So we're going to want to go over to your email address. Go to settings. Plex Media Server Setup. Just make sure that check enable Plex Media Server is checked and hit your select button. Create default libraries. Hit the next button. And give it permissions. Plex Media Server ready to set up your server. So hit next. Sometimes this takes a minute, and if you have a problem, sometimes you can restart and it fixes the problem.
Plex Media Server setup complete. And if you look, it says if you haven't already, you can now add your personal media to the server and access the server settings by visiting Plex.tv. So let's hit finish. So from here, we need to switch back over to the PC. And if it's still looking for servers over here, you can just hit the refresh. Just click got it. And I just keep it stock, what they, the name they give you. Hit next. And here's your libraries. And in this instance, we're just going to keep the two um, movies and TV shows. And once you have that all set up, just hit next. And then hit done. Then you're going to want to go to settings. And then we're going to want to go to libraries. It says manage libraries. So here's our movies, TV shows. So we have to direct it to the path on our shield. So hit the edit. You can hit add folders. But mine is already where I want it to be. Storage emulated zero movies. That's where my Cinema HD is set up. So that works for me. And if we go to TV shows, do the same thing. Hit edit. Add folder. Storage emulated zero TV shows. So that's exactly where I want it to be. So we've added our media. So here's our movies. I only have one. And here is our TV shows. I only have one. So now we can switch back over to the shield. All right, now that we're back in our shield, if you hit movies, there's our movie. Go to TV shows, there's our TV show. So TV shows is TTV and movies is Cinema HD. So this was just a quick and simple rundown of how to set up your Plex media server. If you guys have any ideas on other Plex videos, comment below and let me know. Well, I hope you guys like this. Hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a tech day.